Hi, I'm Clara from Online Fabric Store. Today I'm going to make double-sided napkins with mitered corners. A mitered corner is when two sides come together at a 45 degree angle. You can use this technique to create a polished look on many sewing projects, like tablecloths, blankets, quilts, and curtains. So let's get started. The materials you'll need are two one-yard pieces of fabric. I'm using Michael Miller Moroccan Lattice Orange and Silver Broadcloth thread, a ruler, a sewing gauge, which is optional, a fabric marker, scissors, pins, and also a sewing machine and an iron. First, pre-wash and iron your fabric. I'm going to cut a square from my front and back fabrics. I'm making these napkins 18 inches square. The front fabric will fold over the edges of the back, creating a one inch border with mitered corners. To account for the amount needed for this border, I'm adding three inches to the finished dimensions, so I'm cutting a 21 inch square. Cut the back fabric half an inch smaller than the finished dimensions, so 17 and a half inches. Fold the fabric over a quarter to half an inch and press it. Then, fold it over again, however wide you want the border to be, and iron it. Repeat these steps on all the other corners. Open the fabric so just the first crease is folded over. Measure two times the width of your border from the corner down each side. Draw a line connecting the two marks. Next, fold the corner in half diagonally with the wrong side facing out. Make sure the two marks line up and pin it together. Repeat these steps on all the other corners. Sew down the marked line. Backstitch at the beginning and end and sew all the way to the edges. Cut off the excess fabric about a quarter inch from the seam. Turn it right side out and push the point of the corner out. Now the mitered corner is created. Repeat this on the other three corners. Next, center the back fabric on the mitered corner side of the napkin. Lift the edges and tuck the back fabric under the border. Then pin the pieces together. Finally, top stitch around the napkin about an eighth of an inch from the inner edge of the border. Back stitch just a couple of stitches at the beginning and the end. And here's the finished napkin. Now you can make a whole set to complete your table setting. Thanks for watching this OFS project. 